Arrows can be used to represent vector quantities. Vectors are measurements with both direction and magnitude. Force, displacement and acceleration are just a few examples that we often encounter. Another example is velocity. So let's consider the velocity of a ball. The vector represents the velocity of the ball, which in this case is moving up, and it's shown here by the arrow. Arrows can be used to represent any vector quantity, not just velocity. So how do we represent the magnitude of the vector? The length of the arrow represents the magnitude of the vector. So let's look at two cars as another example. One is slow and one is fast. This is represented by two different sized arrows. The velocity of the car on the right is twice as big, so the arrow is twice as long. So what does the direction of the arrow tell us? The direction of the arrow represents the direction of the vector. So here we have two cars travelling in opposite directions, and this can be seen by the direction of the arrows. So the velocities are in opposite directions. It's really important that you're able to understand diagrams given in an exam, which could be describing vectors for a question. It's a common source of error to misinterpret vector diagrams. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.